Santana Cosplay, and here with me is Lily Kale of Co Million Cosplay. We're so excited because we're here at a con, Indian Pop Con, Minneapolis. Santana Cosplay presents interviews with Tara Strong, Danny from Ninja Sex Party, Nostalgia Critic, and others, unless they say no. Don't stop, don't stop, we're in love now. Don't stop, there's so much to be found. We can't run paradise. All we have to do is go, go free. Who are you? I am Kyle Abair, a voice actor from Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, Bleach, Gurren Lagann, Street Fighter, and more. And I am interviewing... John Marks. And what did you do that's really cool? Well, I built the Toothless Dragon. What's up? Not much. Really quickly, how about you review your whole life story with lots of cutscenes in between? Uh, well, it all started when I was a little boy. Cutscenes. And how long did this take you for people who don't really know your work? Uh, well, it took me about four months and about a thousand hours. Wow, that's a lot of work and a lot of hours. So how many tears did you shed? <laughs> All right, I have here with me Travis Wade. I personally love you from Supernatural, but you do other things as well, right? I do, absolutely, yeah. I've uh, had a 18 year movie and television career, and I have a really big film coming out uh, this, this September that, that I can't talk about, but it's good. It's very good. It's got not just movie stars, it's got movie legends, probably about 10 of them. Why you got put us in suspense like this? It's -a me, Mario! Oh Woohoo! You're number one! <laughs> See, you just made my day. Oh my gosh. Yay! Woohoo! How's my Mario impression? Excellent. And Tara Strong. Yes, and you do so many characters. I am such a huge fan of you. Can you please let the audience at home know how many characters you do? Um, probably in the hundreds. You were on the original Power Puff Girls, right? Yes. What do you think about the new series, if you're allowed to say? I'm not allowed to say much. Um, I think it's cool that they're doing it again. Um, they're taking their own take on it, and it's really fun to be working on it. So, have you enjoyed yourself at Indie PopCon? It's been absolutely fantastic. We have great Mario fans here. We have tons of people, lots of cosplay. I just met two little bambinos who are both Luigi's. They're just walking around adorable. Indie Pop Con, it's my first time ever doing a convention like this. This is, yeah. What's the experience been like for you so far? It's, it's new, it's interesting. I mean, normally, you know, we're, we're kept in a green room all day and we're only allowed to come out a certain time. So this is the first time I've been able to out come out and talk with the people yeah. and get to meet people like you. And yeah. Don't flatter me, okay? Very much so. The flattery gets easy, you everywhere. Easy to flatter. I <laughs> Do you have a particular favorite character? Um, my favorite character that I ever booked was Melody in The Mermaid 2 because I got to sing with Jody Benson and oh, nice. I was like, I was fangirling like crazy. Oh my gosh. But I love doing Powerpuff Girls and Fairly Odd Parents. We have a lot of fun. Titans is really fun. And that was the greatest day of my life. Very good. That was a fascinating story. Anybody else? Anybody else want to share the story? I have diabetes. How hard is it for you when you get these cool new projects and just, oh, I bet you do want to tell people because it gets so exciting, right? It used to be when I first started acting, it was. Um, you know, you want to tell people you're working, you know, and now as time goes on, you want to kind of wait because it takes, you know, anything can happen with a project. Right. So I learned a long time ago, I was attached to a film called Jarhead, and I worked on that project for a long time, and two weeks before we started filming, uh, Peter Sarsgaard came in and he ended up taking the part that I had. Because he got offered to it, he got offered the role before I did, and then he. You want me? You want me to look him up? I can. I no, can Peter. Hear. <laughs> if it wasn't Peter, I would have been pissed. But Peter is okay. such a, a fantastic okay. actor. Okay. But the problem was, I went around, I promoted it, I talked about it. I learned a long time ago: do not talk about anything until you're watching it in the theater and you see yourself on the screen. Because you know you can talk about something and they can be like, oh, the project, the money didn't come through, and. Whatever the case may be, and next thing you know, um, yeah. everyone's like, what happened to that project that you were supposed to? You're not a noob anymore, that's good. Yeah, I'm not a noob anymore. Most people know me from my work on Archer, on FX. They also know me from my comic work on Adventure Time. I uh, storyboarded on The Awesomes for Hulu. I'm now with Action Lab Comics. You can find out about us at actionlabcomics.com. I'm the president of their animation division. We have some new books coming out, Monster Dojo, Robot Cowboy Samurai, The Amazing Adventures of Mr. Paper, as as well as some new animated content that we'll have on YouTube at Action Lab Entertainment. You need to rub some of that luck off on me here, okay? Come on. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, I just got in your personal space. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. She's rubbing up on me. You gotta take advantage of the situation, okay? Look at that. She, this is really not even recording, by the way. She's yeah. just. She's, I'm actually faking it. <laughs> she's faking it just to rub her elbow. That, that, that was the thing. It's not, not even connected. Yeah, you're not even real. <laughs> None of this is real. Hi, I'm Timmy. Welcome to the Tim Shop. You are by far the cutest I've ever seen. Are you enjoying indie popcorn, Timmy? Yeah. Yeah? I was hoping I could buy some. Timmy only sells Timmy Flakes. Timmy Flakes! It's so good you can't taste it. Come on, high five, Timmy. You rock on, okay? Okay. Sell them Timmy Flakes. Timmy Flakes! Part of a complete breakfast. <laughs> I'm Liliana, and I'm here with Darren from Scaly Tales. And what do you do, Darren? My wife and I uh, have a reptile rescue and education based in Bloomington, Indiana. We take in scaly critters people don't want or can't keep anymore, and then we take them around to schools and libraries and events like. Popcorn. So, any big upcoming projects that you're not allowed to tell anyone, but I'm asking anyway? We're doing a Holocaust drama. It's a Holocaust musical, actually. Because, um, you know, we, we didn't know the producers was meant to be a comedy, so we said, let's, let's make it for real. Last question. Yes. Biggest question of your life? Everybody wants to know. Yes. Oh, are you single? Are my, am I single? No, I have a wonderful, amazing... All the good ones. Beautiful, Never. incredible, nope. loving girl in my life, and her name is Robin. Oh, that is sweet. Um, I like so many things. Are you kidding? It's incredible to have done... Like, I love my psychotic characters like my princess and Sedusa and all that, and I love, you know, I love Commander Shepard, and I love, you know, the Cinderella stuff. Like, I love the whole deal. <laughs> Malcolm Andy is Roberts playing involved. a... Ma Malcolm's playing a Nazi. I am. I am. For some reason. Can I please be an extra? I'll just be a dead body. This, like, what made you even think about, huh, I'm gonna do this? Well, when I was little, uh, the original Voltron cartoon came on, and I heard uh, the, the same actor that does the voice of Optimus Prime say, Voltron, defender of the universe. And I just thought that was so cool, that voice, just like, man, I would love to do that when I got older. <gasps> Any interesting fan stories? I'm sure you guys probably have a lot working at conventions and stuff, so anybody want to share one or two? I had somebody take a picture with a penguin. Yes, a real uh, penguin? Uh, that's all he was interested in. Numerous pictures of us with his penguin. A penguin in a Link costume. So how do you think this interview is going so far? I think you're doing a great job. Really? Thank you. Yeah. I was just yeah. waiting for you to pop out and start reviewing me while I interview you. <laughs> you could totally be farlaying right now and be like, um, you remember that one honest trailer you did that one time? Okay, so your hat has a snake on it. Yes. What's the penguin under age? Uh... Who are you? Who am I? I am Dee Silverman with Sci-Fi Photo Guys. Ooh, I've seen you around a lot of cons. How long have you been doing this for? For about four years now. And tell people exactly what you do in full exactly. detail. Exactly. In full detail. How much time do we have? Two minutes. Two minutes, okay. <laughs> what we do is green screen photography, but we do it different from anybody else. We take time to paint the shadows at the feet, proper lighting, special effects, things like this, sort of completing the fantasy. If cosplayers are going to go ahead and spend all that time, effort, and money to make their costumes, then we might as well give them an environment that really looks like they're completing that whole thing. So if I want to be on a beach right now, you could help me out. Oh, yeah. One of my uh, favorite fan stories is that at um, Midwest Media Expo, I, I was being followed by a fan, and I was trying to get to uh, <laughs> I was trying to get to a panel. And so, it wasn't me. Oh no no it wasn't you. Um, I would have remembered. I would have ran away. But no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, He's not. <laughs> no so um, yeah we were talking talking talking, and I really had to use the restroom. So I go into the restroom. He's, he follows me into the restroom, and we're talking. And so um, he finishes the conversation and rushes out really quick. And so I go to wash my hand, and up walks uh, behind me Tamara. I'm like. Tamara, what are you doing here? And Tamara's like, oh, yeah, is this uh, the men's restroom? I'm like, I don't know. And she opens the door, and it's the women's restroom. <laughs> but here's the kicker. The fan that followed me into the restroom was also a guy, so... <laughs> wow. Maybe he identified as female. Probably. Tell us about you. And I'm here with... Mate Mage. And what do you do? I am a cosplayer, uh, actor, deputy sheriff, uh, just a goofy guy. Tell us all the places you've ever cosplayed at, I and why. I normally stay in the like Indiana, Illinois, Ohio area. I don't really go further than that, so 
haven't gotten very far yet. The price of tea in China. Please do tell us about the price of tea in China. Yes, no, please, no. no. I, I want to know about the price of tea in China. How much is it? I don't know. That's what that I want. That sounds like the lead of a joke. How much is it? Make it funny. Uh, Only chance. One penny. Well, that's it. That's all we got. All right. Yep. Quick and painless. Thanks for watching. It's over nine thousand. Subscribe to Santana Cosplay, okay? Do that. Subscribe to Santana Cosplay. It means the world. Hey, this is Timmy Turner, and I wish you'd subscribe to Santana Cosplay. One more favor. Oh, <laughs> subscribe to Santana Cosplay. Subscribe! Subscribe! Another subscribe! Yay! Subscribe! Maybe. Subscribe! Maybe. Subscribe! I don't know. subscribe. Yay! What are we doing here? I don't know. Know another word for Santana? Satan? Ah! Oh!